feel like no matter the situation, your friend should always, always have your back. Especially if it's in public. Even if you're wrong. Your friend should always be able to be honest with you. From telling you why you're wrong to simply think like, oh, your dress looks ugly, or hey, you need to blend your concealer more, or hey, change your powder from white to yellow. <laughs> you know? If I could talk to my, my 11, 12 year old self, I would tell her it's not the end, you know. You don't have to stand in that room while they all sing songs about you telling you how ugly you are and how you need makeup which is not why I'm wearing, I'm, I wear makeup now by the way I just kind of wear makeup because I like it and I'm good at it hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is basically just going to be talking about a good friend and you know just showing the differences between a good friend and a good friend this video is in collaboration with three other very beautiful, smart, opinionated YouTubers, you know, we're just basically talking about the same issue and you should check them out because they obviously have like different experiences and we're all viewing the same subject from like different lenses. So if you don't find what you're looking for here, you can find it there or there or there. So without further ado, let's just jump into this video. So I have my list on my phone. Once I get to it. I have my list on my phone and this is what I expect to see in a good friend, at least what I would want my friend to, you know, have. First thing on this list is a good friend should always have your back. Like, no matter the situation, your friend should always, always have your back. Especially if it's in public, even if you're wrong. For example, if you and your friend are kind of just chilling and you know, a group of people come to comfort your friend. If your friend was right, if your friend was wrong, your first instinct is to have your friend's back. Even if she doesn't have to, you know, stay there to kind of talk, you know, like add her own opinions. But the fact that she's there, you know, kind of just there gauging the situation. If anything is going to happen, she's about to throw down with me. That is what I want my friend to, you know, have. Be there literally behind my back. And this kind of brings me to my second point which is a good friend should always be honest with you. After the confrontation, my friend should be able to pull me out to the side in private and be like, hey, what you did is wrong. Or after hearing what they've said, you're wrong. Your friend should always be able to be honest with you. From telling you why you're wrong to simple things like, oh, your dress looks ugly. Or hey, you need to blend your concealer more. Or hey, change your powder from white to yellow <laughs> if you're not you're going to see your friend literally walk into the lion's den because he or she isn't behaving themselves then you know you don't have that person's um, you know best interest why are you letting that person feel like you know you are their friend when you don't have their best interests you and your friend should be able to communicate good communication for me is like the foundation of a good relationship if you can't tell the person how you feel or if the person can't tell you how you feel or how they feel without either of you getting offended, then you know, what's going on? How would I know the problem if you don't tell me? I've had people who get mad because they felt I treated them a certain kind of way, but all honesty, I was kind of innocent about it. Like I didn't even know I was doing this thing. So please, tell me what's wrong so I'm able to fix my fuck ups, you know what I mean? Don't go there hold a grudge and kind of expect things to solve itself because, you know, things will never get solved that way. And kind of like inside the group communication, your friend should also be very understanding. Your friend should be able to understand that, hey, we're not always going to agree on everything, so no problem. I have a friend who I thought we, you know, were the same too, <laughs> I realized she was in love with Wendy Williams. I was like, how can I love you but hate you at the same time? But, you know, I'm not just going to sit there and expect her to kind of like agree with everything because I do respect other people's opinions. And that's another thing with being mature. You should be able to understand that everyone isn't going to see everything from your point of view. Your friend should also be very understanding. You know, I had a friend who she was going through her shit and I was going through my shit at the same time. Granted, I'm not in the same school, so things are kind of hard, you know, hard. It's kind of hard for us to kind of get to each other. 
and she was like oh yeah i promise i'll come this weekend to kind of help you go through your stuff she didn't call me that she did she wasn't coming i was disappointed but i was i was upset i was upset but i wasn't upset to the point where i was going to hold a grudge against her because i knew she was going through her own shit as well and because it's her shit she's going to put her shit as priority i won't expect you to just drop everything you're doing drop all the situations you're having and just come and help me with mine a good friend should be able to understand and be like hey i know if so so and so didn't happen she would be here or i would be there so if your friend is going to be mad because you couldn't drive down come on other people have shit that they're going through as well and everyone isn't going to be there for you like the world literally does before we're out here i feel like now i'm being a bit too personal <laughs> this video is not to like bash anyone it's not to expose anyone not kind of like yeah sub anyone it's just a general understanding of what i want my good friend to be a good friend should never ever hesitate to congratulate you i'm so proud of you you're so beautiful Oh, you're looking good today, girl. Your know, friend should literally boost you up. Your friend, if your friend has a problem, your friend has a problem with congratulating you. Anytime any good thing happens, they always give you like a side. Mm -hmm. That friend isn't your friend. That, that person isn't your friend. I'm going to be happy for you the same way I will be happy for myself if something like that shit happens. If I could talk to my, my 11, 12 year old self, I would tell her. It's not the end, you know. You don't have to stand in that room while they all sing songs about you, telling you how ugly you are and how you need makeup, which is not why I'm wearing, I'm, I wear makeup now, by the way. I just kind of wear makeup because I like it and I'm good at it. I would tell her that she can just stand up and walk away, even if they won't talk to her, even if you won't be part of the popular gang. After high school, no one gives a fuck about that shit. Like literally, the day I graduated, I feel like that the change started then. Literally started then. Knowing that I'm not going to have to wake up and go to the dining room and see those people's faces ever again. You know, if I ever want to see those people, I know it's my choice. So it's not like I'm obligated to act like I care or obligated to act like I'm still their friends. So yes. A good friend should never, ever make you feel less than. A good friend should always try to encourage you. Always. And it's hard because nice people, if you're nice and, you know, you're not that tough, it's just, you're, the, you're like the easy target. But that doesn't mean you should stop being who you are because you don't want people to, you know, run on you. And it just means you need to change the people you have as friends. I only have a handful of friends and I love it and the best part is that not all of them even know each other so there will never ever be a situation where I will feel left out because I know if oh maybe this is me and my friend are having a situation I always have another friend not like I'm replacing friends but I think they're good so at the end of the day you will know you have good friends when you feel your happiest you know you don't have to act a certain way you know you don't have to pull up some facade and you know your friends will love you for who you are to make you see that you're the best person ever um <laughs> that is my video on fake and good friends like i said don't forget to check out the beautiful ladies who are doing this video as well give them a big thumbs up Write some nice comments, also subscribe if you want to, and you can subscribe to my channel as well if you're here for the first time and you haven't subscribed, don't forget to give a thumbs up. I have my friend here who has been slaving in the kitchen cooking for me. What? Paper towels. Paper towels. Is the food almost ready? It's done. It is? But I'm scared about the soup. Was the spinach enough? Like, I don't know. And then I'll like even in. the season like, I'm just like, I'm mad. Like, I'm coming, I'm coming. Save me. I'm sorry. I shall. Being a good friend and also trying to save my food for the week. Okay, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, uh, uh, uh.
that is a way to know that those people are truly not your friends because how is it that you give someone money for instance yeah and then it starts to get uncomfortable that you can't even our setup is so shady what have i put myself into i'm over this secondary school drama that person is probably not your real friend if your friend is always trying to one up every situation you tell them that this bad thing happened they'll be like oh at least it is not how that thing happened to me 